You know, Brittany, I think you should become a writer. You're always making up secrets that Cole could be hiding from me. What is it now? Is he a cyclops? Is he an alien? A spy? You know, you might think that I'm happy to be telling you this, but what I'm about to say could possibly ruin your life. Or your mother's. Or maybe both. It's about your father. Confession to make. Can I talk to you in my office? No. John, this is going to be made public soon enough, and I need to just spit it out right here and right now. Well, maybe we ought to take this into my office until we know what we're dealing with. Miles has been holding Todd Manning. You came here to talk to me about my father? You're really happy, aren't you, Star, with everything and with Cole? So this is totally about Cole. And about your father. I know that he's missing, and it really sucks. I mean, I'm sorry, because it makes everything a lot worse than it has to be, doesn't it? Right? I mean, like life and things with you and Cole. Oh, wow, that is so sweet. You came here to help me by telling me something that would ruin my life? And your mother's. Why are you doing this to me? Why can't you just leave me alone? Because, Star, I don't think that I could sleep at night knowing what I know and knowing that you don't know. About my dad? Yeah. Are you trying to tell me that you think you know where my dad is? Yeah, I do. I, I don't know what she's saying or why she's saying this. Really, Marty? Are you telling us that Miles kidnapped Manning? No, she's not saying that because it's not true. You can knock off the act, Miles. It's over. Just confess and get it over with. All right, where is Manning right now? I don't know, but he does. No, I, I, look, I don't know what you're saying, Marty, and I don't know why you're saying this, but I think you have your facts wrong. Just it's... shut up, okay, Miles? Just shut up. The secrets are stopping right here. And this moment on, you're not holding anything over me or anybody else. What was he holding over you? Think carefully about what you're about to say. I have. I have thought long and hard about it. No, you haven't. Listen to me, Marty. No, shut it. up! Shut up, Lawrence. Let her talk. All I know is that he was holding Todd Manning. I don't know why, but he was. And that's not his only secret. He used blackmail me into marrying him so he wouldn't tell you my secret. Which is? I killed Spencer Truman. handle this Manning situation, give me five minutes alone with her. I'm gonna need answers from both of you. I know. Come on. It's okay. You know what I'm doing. Dead miles walking. So how about you? Is there anything that you would like to tell me? Only that this is a big misunderstanding. Oh, I think that it's a whole lot more than that. All right, you don't want to talk to me, then why don't you take about 10 steps backwards and drop your butt in that chair over there and don't move. Is this some kind of screwed up joke? I don't know. But I know Marty. And she wouldn't do something like this for no reason. I'm doing this for my son. How much time are you going to give John with Marty? Give him as much time as he needs. Has he said anything to you? Like what? About anything. You know, I'm just trying to get some idea of how much of what Marty just told us came as a surprise to John. Come in. You got a minute? Richmond, busy. What is it? So, I'm down here covering the crack house story, and there's buzz that Truman shrink, Marty Saber, just confessed to the Truman murder. Any chance of getting an exclusive? What you got there in your hands? Oh, nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought. But you thought you were holding something, didn't you? Holding something over me and my mom? I hate to break it to you, but you have nothing. You're 
twisted little party. Well, it's over. You told your mom about Todd, didn't you? That's why she's saying this? You told her about our little secret? No, she told me that she killed Spencer. This is how she wanted to handle the situation, by telling the truth. And you know what? I admire that. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell the truth. Everything you've done to Todd is going to come out. You know that secret that we had about Todd? Yeah. That was a very big secret, Cole. You didn't say anything to anyone yet, did you? Police? Your girlfriend, Todd's daughter? I know you told your mom, but your mom's not going to say anything because she doesn't want to get her son to go to juvenile hall. Right? Have you ever thought about what this could do to you? Not me, besides me. What it'll do to you? Legally? Personally? It was wrong of me to keep that secret. You have spent your whole life trying to break me and Cole up, but that isn't enough, is it? You had to use my missing dad to hurt me. Do you really think that I would come all the way over here and say that I knew something when I actually didn't? How stupid do you think I am? Tell me what you know about my dad. And then get out. Where is he, Brittany? You don't know anything about my dad. I don't know where your dad is. Then get out. I don't know where your dad is, but I know someone who does. Cole. Did you ever even listen to your... I didn't want to know. I overheard Cole telling his father. That guy is not his father. Oh, stepfather, whatever. Anyway, I figured he would tell you, but obviously he didn't. Why am I surprised that you would do something like this? You played that slideshow at Halloween and let every one of the kids at school know that my dad raped someone. Cole's mother. Anyway, I told you I was sorry. You have spent every waking minute of your life trying to break us apart with your little lies and your little tricks, but it never worked, Brittany. It only made us closer. Yeah? Then ask your boyfriend. I am not going to ask him anything because he would never lie to me, especially about something that big. Are you positive? <laughs>